Hello everyone, my name is Samantha and I'm with Empower Multimedia. We post content regarding business, academia, and entrepreneurship. Today we are going to be going over the top 10 computer science schools in the world. Starting off at number 10, we have the University of Toronto. The school is located in Toronto, Canada. The Department of Computer Science offers a graduate program leading to the Master of Science and Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science. The program consists of courses and research conducted under the supervision of a faculty member. Faculty in the Department of Computer Science are interested in a wide range of subjects related to computing. At this school, you can expect a tuition of $6,590 Canadian dollars, or if you're international, it would be around $45,690 Canadian dollars. The middle 50% data for admitted students from U.S. high schools had a grade point average of between 3.6 to 4.0, and an SAT combined score of 1330 to 1500. For the ACT composite, it was 29 to 34. Computer science graduates from this school have a 98.5% job placement rate, and positions are paid and U of T computer science students earn an average of approximately $49,000 annually, with top salaries reaching over $80,000 in 12 months. Something interesting about this school is that they've created the world's first water plate instrument. Electrical and computer engineering professor Steve Mann invented hydrolophones, which are unique musical instruments that work like woodwinds but use water rather than air to create otherworldly music. Since the 1980s, Mann has built, played, and composed for his creations. Hydrolophones create sound even on their own, but a musician can also play them by covering individual water jets to change the notes. Now looking at some alumni, Lester Bulls Pearson was a Canadian scholar, statesman, soldier, and diplomat. He won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1957 for organizing the United Nations Emergency Force to resolve the Suez Canal crisis. Another alumna is Roberta Bonder. This is Canadian's first female astronaut and the first noologist in space. After more than a decade as head of an international space medicine research team collaborating with NASA, Bonder became a consultant and speaker in business, scientific, and medical communities. At number 9, we have the University of Washington. The school is located in Seattle, Washington. The University of Washington is consistently ranked among the top computer science programs in the nation. The Paul G. Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering educates tomorrow's innovators and engages in research that advances core and emerging fields. They are participating in a broad range of multidisciplinary initiatives that demonstrate the transformative power of computing and are nationally recognized for their success in promoting diversity. The in-state tuition here is around $11,500, where the out-of-state tuition is around $38,000. The University of Washington admissions is selective with an acceptance rate of 52%. Students that get into the University of Washington have an average SAT score between 1220 and 1470, or an average ACT score of 27 to 33. At this school, 59.8% were employed full-time, while 15.9% of graduates were continuing their education, and the average salary from the school is $92,000. Something cool about this school is that bubblegum, vinyl, synthetic rubber, and the color TV tube were all invented at the University of Washington. The idea for the wave was conceived at the University of Washington in 1981. Husky Stadium here has the record for having the loudest game in college football history. It was 130 decibels in 1992 when they were playing against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. One notable alumni here is Joel Edward McHale. He is an Italian-born American actor, comedian, writer, producer, and television host. He is best known for hosting The Soup and his role as Jeff Winger on the NBC sitcom Community. Another alumna is Rain Diedrich Wilson. He is an American actor, comedian, podcaster, producer, and writer. He is best known for his role as Dwight Schrute on the NBC sitcom The Office, for which he earned three consecutive Emmy Award nominations. At number 8, we have the National University of Singapore. This is located in Singapore. The Department of Computer Science, with over 80 faculty members, has a long track record in the grooming leaders for the digital economy and IT workforce. The department's internationally recognized faculty members perform research in areas of artificial intelligence, 
database management, media, systems and networking, computational biology, programming languages, and software engineering. The tuition here is 38,200 Singapore dollars. The perfect SAT score is 1600 while the minimum is 400, and the average score for math is 531. The minimum acceptable test scores are 600 for evidence-based reading and writing and 650 for mathematics. 94% of National University of Singapore students got placed within three months after graduation. This school's graduates in computer science have enjoyed a median gross salary of around $4,285 a month. The National University of Singapore aims at not only advancing in the fields of knowledge, but also nurturing talent that provides to be beneficial to both the service of the country and the society. When studying at this school, you are sure to feel the enterprising spirit that lies in the campus, which provides necessary push to the students of the university. One alumna here is Lee Kuan Yew. He is a Singaporean statesman and lawyer who served as Prime Minister of Singapore from 1959 to 1990, and he is recognized as the nation's founding father. Another one is Mahathir bin Mohammed. He is a Malaysian politician, statesman, author, and doctor who served as the fourth and seventh prime minister of Malaysia. He is also the longest serving prime minister, serving for 24 years. At number seven, we have the Nanyang Technological University. This is located in Singapore. NTU School of Computer Science and Engineering is a leading computer science and engineering school for higher learning that is known for its excellent curriculum outstanding, impactful research in its talented faculty. For in-country tuition, it's around 8,000 Singaporean dollars. The international tuition is 15,700 Singapore dollars. The average academic score here is 3.6 for GPA, 37 for IB, 7 on the IELTS, 100 on the TOEFL, and 1,300 on the SAT. Let's not forget about the ACT, which is 32. 92% of NTU graduates are said to have found employment within three months of graduation. And as of November 2020, graduates from the Nanyang Technological University with a degree in computer science can expect a mean basic monthly salary of 4,500 Singapore dollars. The Nanyang University has an eco-friendly campus. Around campus, you can find cat cafes that offer furry friends for you to pet and play with while you're having your coffee as well. One alumna here is Stephanie Soon. She's a Singaporean singer-songwriter. In 2000, she released her debut album, Yan Zi, which won her a Golden Melody Award for Best New Artist. Another is Joanne Pewe Su. She's a Singaporean actress and host. She was named as one of the seven princesses of Media Corp in 2006. At number six, we have the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, Zurich. This is located in Zurich, Switzerland. The school provides world-leading technological expertise and scientific contributions to the technology behind digitalization. They graduate computer scientists with a deep expertise and critical perspective on digital technology skills. The tuition here is 1,229 Swiss francs. The average academic score here is a 2 for GPA, a 24 on IB. For the IELTS, it's a 7 and a 100 on the TOEFL. 60% of their graduates continue to their master's studies, and the national average salary for computer science here is 88,473 Swiss francs. Here you can find a large range of activities. They can play in the academic orchestra or the big band, or take part in the activities of student clubs or associations. One alumna here is Albert Einstein. He was a German board theoretical physicist, and he's widely acknowledged to be one of the greatest physicists of all time. Einstein is known for developing the theory of relativity, but he also made important contributions to the development of the theory of quantum mechanics. Another is Felix Bloch. He was a Swiss-American physicist and Nobel Physics laureate who worked mainly in the U.S. He and Edward Mills Purcell were awarded the 1952 Nobel Prize for Physics for their development of new ways and methods for nuclear magnetic precision measurements. At number five, we have the University of California, Berkeley. This is located in Berkeley, California. Underlying their success is a strong tradition of collaboration, close ties to the industry, and a supportive culture. The in-state tuition here is $14,254, and the out-of-state tuition is $44,000. 
Students that get into UC Berkeley have an average SAT score between 1330 to 1530, or an average ACT score of 31 to 35. The largest percentage of students in the class of 2018, 61% of them were employed full-time immediately after graduation. Computer science majors who earn their bachelor's degree from UC Berkeley go on to jobs where they make a median salary of $114,000 a year. Any Californian-based students and families will be aware of the Stanford X and the big game between the two schools. The tradition began in 1899 at California versus Stanford baseball game, when the X was brandished at the standard rooting section and captured by Cal fans at the game's end. It was made into the trophy for the annual big game in the 1930s. One alumna here is Alexandra Morgan Carrasco. She's an American professional soccer player for the Orlando Pride of the National Women's Soccer League and the highest division of women's professional soccer in the United States. Another is John Cho. He is an American actor known for his role as Harold Lee in the Harold and Kumar films, Hikaru Sulu in the Star Trek reboot film series. Early in his career, Cho also starred in the Asian-American-centered films Better Luck Tomorrow, Shopping for Fangs, and Yellow. At number four, we have Tsinghua University. This is located in Beijing, China. The Tsinghua University Computer Science Program is ranked among the top in China, with growing international reputation for excellence in education and research, coupled with the increasing demand for CS education from the diversified student body. They offer this master's program in advanced computing. The average entrance score here is 6.5 on the IELTS and 90 on the TOEFL. For GPA, it's a 2.5, 27 for the IB. The international tuition for this school is 28,000 Chinese yuan. With the motto of self-discipline and social commitment, in the spirit of action speak louder than words, Tsinghua University is dedicated to the well-being of Chinese society and to world development. One alumna here is Zhu Rongyi. He is a retired Chinese politician who served as mayor and party chief in Shanghai from 1988 to 1991 and as the first vice premier and then premier of the People's Republic of China from March 1998 to March 2003. Another is Quan Zhangshu. They were a renowned 20th century Chinese literary scholar and writer known for his wit and erudition. He is best known for his satirical novel Fortress Besieged. And number three of Carnegie Mellon University. This is located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. At the undergraduate level, they introduced the nation's first bachelor's degree in artificial intelligence in 2018 and added a bachelor's program in human-computer interaction to their offerings in 2020. The tuition here is $57,000. The average SAT score composite at Carnegie Mellon is a 1510 on the SAT scale. 91% of the MBA class of 2019 accepted a job offer within three months of graduation. The median salary of CompSci students who received their bachelor's degree at Carnegie Mellon is $138,000. The school is home to the world's first degree-granting robotics and drama programs, as well as one of the first computer science departments. The university has spent $242 million on research in 2015. One alumna here is David Allen Tepper. He is an American billionaire businessman, hedge fund manager, and philanthropist. He is the owner of the California Panthers of the National Football League and Charlotte FC in Major League Soccer. Another is Cherry Jones. She is an American actress. She is a five-time Tony Award nominee for her work on Broadway, and she has twice won the Tony Award for the Best Actress in a Play. And number two, we have Massachusetts Institute of Technology. This is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science is the largest department at MIT, and they annually prepare hundreds of graduate and undergraduate students for career leadership in fields such as academia, research, and the high-end technology industry. The tuition here is $53,790, and for MIT, they average SAT scores between 1500 and 1570. Nationally, the average composite score is 1,000. For math, MIT accepted students' average score of 770 to 800. The median salary of CompSci students who receive their bachelor's degree at MIT is $118,000, and 82% have job placements. One fun fact about this is that a pirate's license can be granted to MIT students who complete pistol, archery, fencing, and sailing classes. While the license existed for 20 years unofficially, it was made official in 2012. 
One alumna here is Buzz Aldrin. He is an American former astronaut, engineer, and fighter pilot. Aldrin made three spacewalks as pilot of the 1966 Gemini 12 mission and as Lunar Module Eagle pilot on the 1969 Apollo 11 mission. He was one of the first two people to land on the moon as well. Another is Richard Phillips Feynman. He was an American theoretical physicist known for his work with the path of integral formulation of quantum mechanics, the theory of quantum electrodynamics, the physics of the superfluidity of supercooled liquid helium, as well as his work in particle physics for which he proposed the Partron model. And finally, at number one, we have Stanford University. This is located in Stanford, California. Stanford Computer Science Department is a part of the School of Engineering. The department offers three degrees, Bachelor of Science, Master of Science, and Doctor of Philosophy. It also participates in the following undergraduate interdisciplinary programs, Computer Systems Engineering, Symbolic Systems, and Mathematical and Computational Sciences. The tuition here is $53,529. The average ACT scores for the 50th percentile are 33, and for the 25th percentile, 32. For the SAT, the total 50th percentile score is 1510, with the 25th percentile being 1460. 96% of students here are placed in jobs. Computer science majors at the school make an average salary of $126,000. Stanford has a very long history of fountain hopping, which is the tradition of jumping in water fountains around campus. It involves getting your feet wet trying to, and trying to create whirlpools. This activity is usually done by almost all freshmen during student orientation at Admit Week. One alumna here is Lawrence Edward Page. He is an American business magnate, computer scientist, and internet entrepreneur. He is best known as one of the co-founders of Google along with Sergey Brin. Another is Wilmot Reed Hastings Jr. He's an American businessman, and he's the co-founder, chairman, and co-chief executive officer of Netflix, and he sits on a number of boards and nonprofit organizations. He is a former member of the California State Board of Education. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you are a student or soon-to-be student, click the link in the description to see how we can help you get into your dream school.